So what's going on gas gang? Today we're back with a modified freeway generation showdown between three variants of the same car. Today it's the Mark 6, Mark 7 and Mark 8 VW Golf R and it's going to be sick so stay tuned and let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gas. So welcome back once again to the OG battles where we line them up and let them rip to determine who's the fastest. And today it's a freeway hot hatch sibling rivalry involving one of the most iconic hot hatch platforms to hit the market in the last 10 years. Today it's the evolution of the mighty four wheel drive inline four turbo powered VW Golf R. And in partnership with Race Logic, we're going to be carrying out two sets of races. First up today, it's a quarter mile roll race. Next up, it's a drag race to the quarter mile. All races are best of three and the V-Box Performance Box Touch will be recording data such as 0 to 60s, quarter mile times and more to give you guys the stats on how these cars perform. Let's get over and meet the cars and their owners. So first up today and driving the oldest of the three, welcoming back Anton from Level Up Giveaways in his stage three, 450 brake horsepower, 2 litre inline 4 turbo powered Mark 6 VW Golf R, built and tuned by MRC Tuning. Modifications include a TTE 420 turbo, upraced injectors, an Autotech high pressure fuel pump, an RS3 low pressure fuel pump, a Wagner front mount intercooler, an integrated engineering inlet manifold, a 3 inch turbo back Miltech exhaust system, and methanol injection. The Mark 6 is running on PS4S street tyres and weighs in at 1520 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 296 brake horsepower per tonne. The Mark 6 drives all four of its wheels via its Gen 4 Haldex system and dual clutch 6 speed DSG transmission. Next up today, driving the second newest of the three, introducing the first female so far to take part in the battles, welcoming Morgan in her stage two, 420 brake horsepower, two litre inline four turbo powered Mark 7.5 VW Golf R, built mostly by Morgan herself and tuned by 117 speed. Modifications include a racing line R600 intake with forged silicone hose, a front mount forged intercooler, an AirTech 3.5 inch downpipe and a stage 2 ECU and TCU tune. The Mark 7s running on Michelin PS4S street tyres all round and weighs in the lightest at 1460 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 287 brake horsepower per tonne. The Mark 7 drives all four of its wheels via its Gen 5 Haldex system and dual clutch 7 speed DSG transmission. And last but not least, driving the latest generation of the R, welcoming Ryan from Regal Autosport back to the channel, driving their stage one 400 brake horsepower inline four turbo powered Mark 8 VW Golf R, built and tuned by Regal Autosport. Now, modifications only consist of an eVenturi carbon fiber intake and a development RSS pre-release stage one ECU and TCU tune. The Mark 8 is running on Michelin PS4S street tyres also and weighs in the heaviest at 1580 kg, giving it a power to weight ratio of 253 brake horsepower per tonne. The Mark 8 drives all four of its wheels, but via its all new four motion magna torque vectoring system and seven speed dual clutch DSG transmission. We're hoping the new tech advantages might make up for the power disadvantages. Let's see. Anton from Level Up Giveaways oh, is, is back in town today. <laughs> and bro, you pulled up in a, a rather spicy Mark 6 Golf R. Yes, yes, Mark 6 Golf R. Now listen, you're, you're against obviously your younger siblings in this race, yeah. um, both with newer technology. Yes. You've got the most powder. Have I? Yeah. I didn't yeah. even know that. Yeah, you've got the most power. And you're stage three. So you're stage three. Okay. The, the Mark 7 is stage two, and yeah. the Mark 8 is stage one. So. Mark 8 is lying now. <laughs> 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 All right, so how do you reckon you're going to, or how do you think you're going to get on today? Drag race or roll race? Um, as long as I don't come third or second, I'm happy. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you know what it is, yeah? I need some sugar coats. So. <laughs> good man, good Try man. Try to get a car, man. But now, nah, <laughs> um, I'm hoping to win. Okay. On a level, I'm hoping. I think yeah. I'll win. I'm just worried about the Mark 8 because I know he's in Lion. <laughs> he's lying. He's lying. But um, no, nah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I okay. think I'll win though. Okay, well, listen, bro. You know we love confidence. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. you just got to back it now with winning. 
Can I say I got a full boot? I got a sub in there. Oh, I, we go, I, we go. <laughs> I put a bit of weight on as well. Like, nah, I'm looking forward wicked, to it. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Well, bro, listen, whatever happens today, uh, as always, enjoy it and yeah. uh, let's race. Let's go, man. Nice one. Morgan, welcome to the channel. Hi. You're right. First female on the OG battles. Yeah. There you go. So you've won that already. Yeah. In a way. Right. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so you are in a uh, second generation golfer. Yeah. Um, the second most powerful here. And I want to know your opinion on how you think things are going to pan out today. You've got obviously the newer generation with less power and the older generation with more power. Yeah. Where do you see yourself? Um, I think it's going to be interesting because mm -hmm. um, obviously we all kind of are similar power wise. Yeah. So I think it'll be quite an interesting race to see which car will push faster, I think. Are you confident? Yeah, I'd say so. You've got confidence in the, in, so, in the Mark yeah. 7, yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. So drag race, roll race, what do you see yourself winning, if any? Um, Possibly drag. Okay. I feel like I'm quite good at the launch. Okay. Um, I've done a couple of uh, like pod and things and I've done quite well. So okay. I think I might have it on the launch. Okay. Depends because I haven't seen who, how they drive. So got you, we'll got see. You, got but yeah, maybe the drag race, I think. Okay, cool. Well, that's good to hear. You've got some confidence there. Yeah. And uh, a little bit of an experienced driver too, being at pod <laughs> nan again. Um, listen, whatever happens, have a great day mm -hmm. and let's race. Yeah, let's go. Ryan from Regal Autosport, welcome back to the channel, bro. Thank you. First OG battle, we've done a feature before. Mm -hmm. uh, right, now today, you are the newest generation of the Golf R. Yes. Uh, least powerful today, though. It looks that way, yeah. How do you reckon things are going to pan out? Because like, in my head, I'm thinking that hopefully the lack of power in this will be uh, kind of compensated for by the technology in the car, right? I'm hoping so. That's yeah. what you're hoping for too, right? <laughs> How do you reckon it's going to pan out, you know, drag race, roll race? Um, I think that this will be good off the line only because I know the back axle technology is taking a bit of a jump forward. So I'm hoping that will come into play. Um, but obviously the weight and lack of power might, might hinder that. So who knows? Okay, okay. Are you fairly confident or...? No. <laughs> Fair play. I'm confident in the car. I just okay. think the other cars are more powerful uh -huh. and, and more highly developed. They've been around for a lot longer. Definitely. Um, but we'll see how we go. Okay, bro. Well, listen, whatever happens, best of luck. And um, let's race. And as usual, they're going to be battling it out to take home a sugar coat cup and a full set of its ultra effective, super sweet smelling ceramic waterless washes. And first up today is the roll races. But before we get cracking, let's hear what they sound like. So, the idea for this one is for all cars to roll together at an agreed speed, the left car sets the pace and as soon as they hit the start marker, it's go time. And the Mark 6 shows that the old dog still got it and takes round one, beating the Mark 7 by around two car lengths. The Mark 8 comes last, around four car lengths behind. Let's line them back up and see if anything changes.
Alex Payne, cameraman. And that time, Morgan beats the boys to the line, handing the Mark 6 a free car lengths Gaparoni. The Mark 8 once again comes in last around a car and a half behind. It's one to the Mark 6 and one to the Mark 7. Let's line them back up for a decider. And that was nuts in an ultra close race to the finish between all three. Once again, Morgan just manages to take the win by just under a car length. The Mark 6 beats the Mark 8 to the line, but only by around a car's length. I'm letting the lady win, innit? That's what it is. I'm letting the girl win. So, taking a deeper dive into the data from the roll races pulled from the V-Box PBTs, the only car to actually achieve a 100 to 200 kph run during the races was the Mark 6 surprisingly, managing to get a 100 to 200 kph time of 10.14 seconds. And round one goes to Morgan and the mighty Mark 7. Next up is the drag races, and this is where things could get interesting. And once again, Morgan beats the boys to the finish line, taking a win by around two car lengths. Surprisingly, the Mark 8 makes it to the line second, beating the Mark 6 by about a car length. Madness, let's line them back up and see if someone can stop Morgan's winning streak. This is amazing, come on, let's go again. And once again, Morgan shows the lads a direct route to Gappy Stan, beating a Mark 6 to the line by around two car lengths. The Mark 8 puts up a good fight against the Mark 6, but just gets beaten to the line by a small margin. Smoke 
<laughs> so, let's just take a look at the fastest 0 to 60 and quarter mile times achieved by the trio using a V-Box PBT during the runs. The Mark 7 hits 60 the quickest in just 3.41 seconds, the Mark 8 comes in second fastest at 3.56 seconds, and the Mark 6 hits 60 the slowest of the three at 3.77 seconds. However, all cars just off pace to chart on the ultra competitive all wheel drive leaderboard. Then taking a look at the best quarter mile times achieved, once again, unsurprisingly, the Mark 7 goes fastest, covering the quarter mile in 11.85 seconds at a speed of 115 miles per hour. The Mark 8 puts down the second fastest time running the quarter in 12.06 seconds at a speed of 113 miles per hour. And right behind him, the Mark 6 covers the quarter in an ultra close 12.08 seconds. However, has the highest trap speed of the three at 116 miles per hour. Once again, all cars just off pace to make it onto the leaderboard. And all rounds go to Morgan and the mighty Mark 7. She lifts the sugarcoat cup and gets a full set of its insane, ultra effective, super sweet smelling ceramic waterless washes. So today we had a legendary set of races between three savage hot hatches with interesting results. The Mark 7, the standout winner, takes the rolls and the drags and in my opinion, does it with the best balance of technology, power and weight. The Mark 8 does very well from a dig as expected, even up against higher power cars. The Mark 6 having the most power just wasn't enough to overcome the newer tech today. However, still traps the highest speeds, showing on a longer track, the results could have been different. But Regardless, all cars run strong and put on a good show. So as usual, let me know which one of the three you'd prefer to own and why. Morgan absolutely smashed it today and come off a true winner. And you can feel like a winner too and save a whopping 20% off the whole sugar coat sweet scented product range using my special code OG20. Links can be found down below in the description. Go on, give your car a treat. And if you have enjoyed today's battles, make sure you show your support by smashing that subscribe button and be sure not to miss another race by hitting that notifications bell. And we'll be back, same time, same place, with another epic OG battle. Peace out.